having a major lockdown here in Melbourne, so haven't been doing much videoing. But what I have done is put the solar on the roof of the FJ. And I just thought it would be good to do a video of how I've run the cables down the back and into the cabin. So I've got a second battery in the back here, behind the tool cases. I've run the cable along here, down the back inside the door. I've put a grommet, drilled a hole in through here, put in a grommet and run it inside. Just let me take the tools out so you can see the inside. So. I've just used uh, Gorilla Tape, double-sided tape, for attaching the wire onto the frame. And you can pull this out, and then I've basically just drilled from the inside, directly through here, next to the tail light. Put another grommet here on the inside. And I might mount the plug in here at some point. But, um, I've just got, an, just got an Anderson plug on the end there. Which connects into the Victron controller into a battery box. And in there there's a 180 amp hour AGM style battery. So it's completely off the car system, so it runs standalone off the solar panel. I'll just show you it charging. So I had the I had the um, car out in the sun yesterday so it could charge up. And so the controller is in float mode, which means the battery is fully charged. Getting 20 odd volts off the panel at 0.4 amp. It's sitting in the shade at the moment, so it's not drawing a lot, but it's a 200 watt panel on the roof. So that's basically how I wired up the, the FJ. It's a pretty simple solution in the end. Just runs down there into the solar connectors. The battery box has got your standard type of connectors, USB and cigarette lighter. And some plugs on top so you can actually plug in a Another solar panel there if you wanted to, which I've got a little portable one with another basic PWM controller, but the MPP Victron is uh, doing a great job. It reacts really well to shade changing so that when you're driving along, it adapts pretty quickly to any new conditions. That's uh, my solar setup for the car. And why do you need a battery backup in your car for your fridge of course so I've taken the back seat out there made a little timber frame for the fridge it just sits in the back area and somebody can still sit in the other back seat so you can take three in the car and that's uh, how it all works so I can go off grid now up to the block or out the outback and in theory, the fridge will run forever.